I work at the Diabetes Teaching Center at UCSF and our mission has been to promote and provide diabetes self-management education. Diabetes is really an unusual condition because it's, uh, it's caused by many, many different things, but the, the definition is an elevated blood sugar. Somebody with diabetes has changing blood sugars throughout the day, so people have to learn how to anticipate those changes and respond to those changes in order to control the blood sugar. Diabetes management is all about blood glucose control. It's estimated there are about 26 million people in the United States with diagnosed as well as undiagnosed diabetes, but they would be cared for by probably less than 4,000 medical personnel trained in diabetes management. So the chance of somebody with diabetes or prediabetes in the United States being seen by a, a specialty trained provider is very, very low. We couldn't see everybody here, but we, uh, we could put our curriculum online. So in 2007, launched Diabetes Education Online, which is a complete diabetes self-management curriculum. And uh, now we are launching Diabetes IQ, which is a mobile phone app. And the, and the mobile phone app is the logical extension of trying to promote diabetes self-management education and uh, try to get people engaged in a better understanding of, of their condition uh, and better self-management strategies. The app is set up as a series of quizzes. The quizzes are followed by a discussion of the best answer, so that should give people practical, important information. The discussion is followed by a scoreboard, and on the scoreboard, the, the users can track their own individual uh, results, taking all the different apps, and they can also see how their answers and their responses compare with everybody else who's been taking the app. So it's a very interactive tool. Hopefully it sparks people's interest about things they'd like to learn more or things that they, they realize they should know better and they can go back and uh, talk to their medical providers or they can get more information through the Diabetes Education Online and other uh, professional websites.